your family got a new pet for Christmas, there are a few things you'll want to keep in mind to make sure you are prepared for the responsibilities that come along with it. So joining us now is Susan M. Walshlieger from the Connecticut Humane Society. Hi, Susan. Hey, how are you? Good. So tell us, what should new owners know about pet ownership? I think the most important thing, for, especially for this time of year, is even though you might not be back to your regular routine, you might have time off from work, the kids are home from school, get your new pet into their routine. That's really important to help them feel settled in, to feel safe, because they know what to expect, they know what's coming. So figure out the time of day you're feeding your meals, you're walking the dog, you're cleaning the cat's litter box. That just really helps them get used to their new home and, and through that adjustment. Uh, you also want to check on any boosters your pet might need, vaccinations, depending on their age. And some vets are booking out by a couple weeks or more. So don't wait to make that appointment. Make it now. Get it on the calendar and establish that relationship with your pet's veterinarian so that you have a baseline going forward. You don't want to wait uh, until you really need uh, an emergency appointment to find your, your veterinarian for this pet. So that's something to definitely keep in mind, too. And also same for doggy daycare, who's going to be looking after a pet when you travel, even if it's summer vacation, start all of that now, plan, get it done now. Absolutely. Yeah, vets are so busy this time of year anyway. So call ahead and get yourself on the calendar. Also, Susan, do you see a higher number of surrenders around the holidays? Uh, if so, how can it be avoided? It depends. It really ebbs and flows throughout the whole year. What we are seeing this year and even before the holiday started was uh, surrenders of guinea pigs. I think a lot of people got some guinea pigs during the pandemic, thought it might have been two boys or two girls, only to discover 10 babies later, it's a boy and a girl. So we're seeing an uptick there. So anyone who is looking to adopt a guinea pig right now, check us out. We have plenty uh, that you can welcome into your family. But yeah, I really... Right now, we're seeing just the usual reasons we see during the year. Um, someone going into a, a nursing home and they can't take their pet with them or they're moving or there's an allergy that developed in the family. So right now, it's been okay. And quickly, we just have a few more moments here, but any resources uh, for families out there? I know you have a great website, um, but where could folks go if, if they have questions? pthumane.org, as you said, our website has so much information up there, whether it's questions on behavior, um, ways to train your new pet, even training your cats, litter box training your rabbit, because they can be litter box trained, just like kitties. Also consult a local trainer. I think that's it's great to start as soon as you get a dog of any age into your home, because puppies benefit from it, of course, but so can older dogs, again, as they're learning about you and your routine and how to fit into your family. Uh, but definitely look us up at cthumane.org for any questions you might have. All right, some great advice, Susan. Thanks so much for joining us uh, this afternoon. We appreciate it. Thank you, good talking to you.